As a photographer, it's like there's no room for error. You have to get it done instantly or it's toast. Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. And today's video is going to be a little bit different. Why is that? Because today is the day of the solar eclipse. We're out here in central Arkansas and we're about to set up, so let's go. So currently right now it's fairly clear we got a little bit of high overcast clouds. Now about a week ago they were forecasting for lots of rain, really bad weather here, so the forecast has been slowly improving over the last few days. We're at a pecan farm called Paw Paw Pecans on this beautiful plantation here in central Arkansas. It's a beautiful location and it's right at ground zero in the area of full totality. When you spend the night all around those pecan trees, boy, do you have plenty of them to eat. So the main camera we're going to use for shooting the eclipse, the close-up of the sun and the moon, is going to be my video camera, which I'm converting back over for photography use for this. This is the Panasonic S52X, and I have mounted on it the Sigma 150 to 600 telephoto zoom. Yeah, we're really excited about this. This is an amazing once-in-a-lifetime type trip, and I have to say it does cause a little bit of anxiety. One, the weather. We're hoping the weather stays good. And two, we only have a few minutes of totality. And as a photographer, it's like there's no room for error. You have to get it done instantly or it's toast. So I'm making sure all my settings are good. <sighs> the hardware's not gonna get in my way. My tripod's not gonna give me any problems. And then of course, the camera. I just don't do a lot of photography with this camera. This is normally my video camera. So I feel a little outside, a fish outside the water here, using a camera that I'm not completely comfortable with. Functions are not muscle memory. Just put all that together and it just adds this low level underlying tone of anxiousness. All right, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. Just wanna tell you both good luck. We're all counting on you. So I have here written on this paper all the numbers from NASA for the eclipse. So you look at these times, it's only four minutes of totality. So four minutes to get it right. That's where the pressure's coming from. We're uh, just here waiting. It's uh, a little bit after 10 now. I'm gonna take the camera here and throw a towel over it to keep it out of the sun and I'm just gonna wait. So you saw the camera that's gonna shoot the actual sun and the moon. Now the second part of the image is gonna be the plantation house, the mansion here. Now for that, I have the Leica M11 with the 35 millimeter Sumalux. This is the newest version, I believe the 2022. 2023 the close focus version the new one they just came out with and I have that positioned showing the house and then later we're gonna take the sequences of the eclipse or the eclipse image we haven't decided yet and we're gonna Photoshop that in the sky over here why are we doing that well because the Sun is over here and the moon's gonna be over here and they're not lining up so we're gonna have to do a little bit of pho Photoshop magic here to make the image come together because they want a picture of the mansion with the eclipse above it. And that's really the only way we're gonna be able to do it while being able to shoot front of the mansion, which is the most dramatic. Well, here we are in Arkansas, and this is the latest update from the National Weather Service as of 12 minutes ago. And looks yeah. like we're going to be in one of the few places with no clouds all along the entire eclipse route. One of the campers just came by here and said, you know, you need to be putting a filter on that camera. You're gonna burn it out and I showed him. But he is right, we do need to have a filter on. All right, T minus just a few minutes before partial begins. We are all framed up, ready to go. Then we got my wife here manning the M11 with the mechanical shutter release to get the shot of the mansion. Ready, Jennifer? 
one eternity later. All right, it has begun. So we're using the bracketing feature on the camera and we're taking five exposures and we're doing that every two minutes until we get in the area of full totality. We've got the drone sitting right here. We're gonna launch the drone a few minutes before totality, put it up and catch the whole entire plantation here as the light dims down into totality. That's gonna be really cool. A few minutes later. All right, here's another update. We are at about one half or 50% eclipsed. I guess that's the term. There you go. Got a good crowd gathering here. Some other photographers. People checking things out from the mansion side. A lot of RVs here. So already we can feel a little bit of different just difference in the atmosphere and in the air. It's a little bit cooler. The sun doesn't feel as strong because half of it's blocked, obviously. And the light feels a little off. A lot of people have described being in an area of an eclipse, like you get like an odd feeling when it's taking place. And I can agree with that. It's kind of a different feel, different energy. It's not a bad feeling, it's just different. Check this out. You can see the crescent shape of the eclipse sun in the holes of this uh, calendar thing. A few minutes later. All right, definitely getting darker out here. It's 80% obscured or 80% eclipsed right now. I can actually take my sunglasses off and look around and it doesn't really feel bright outside. It's very different. I know it's hard for you folks to see because the camera keeps adjusting as the light goes down, but it's pretty dim right now. It's getting so cool outside. These magenta objects are what astronomers call solar prominences. They're basically ejections of plasma coming out from the sun's surface into space. The one at the bottom was even visible with the naked eye by everybody around us. Wow. That's weird. Wow. On the very lower left of the moon, there's yes. like a spot, That's like a sliver. Yeah. Yeah. All right, look at this. You see sunset all around, folks. All around, you see the glow of sunset. All right, we're coming through the other side now. Here's the final composite, including the ring of sunset behind the plantation building. The sequence of the eclipse is just above it. I put the sequence on a black background because just photoshopping it in the sky looked too fake for my taste. It was time to print the images on my new Canon Pro 1000 printer. So much better than that Epson printer I used to have. Once you get everything out of the printer and you lay it all out and you look, it's absolutely amazing once you print your images. So I can't stress it enough. Get out and print your images. So we got the pictures all rolled up in the tube, ready to go. And we're going to get that off to Arkansas. And I want to thank Billy and Charlotte over at Paw Paw Pecans and Charlotte Teresa Plantation for helping us out and letting us stay there during the eclipse. Thank you so much. Without you guys, this would have never be possible. And for the rest of you, tune into our next video. Look forward to seeing you in the next one. See ya. Oh, look at your picture. Glasses back on. Right here. Yeah. Woo! Oh, look at the glasses. It's light. Yeah. Yep. Now you got to use the glasses again.